that uh, what I've written five or six books, written quite a lot, published in a lot of different places, but we'll just talk about some of the books right now. My very, very first book, this one, uh, is called Teehee Book, Teehee Referent for Which, consists of Teehee non-materialized 
transparent punch outs from a letter slash whatever stencil that's not written anywhere on the book so anybody looking at the book wouldn't know that that's its title which is a part of the humor behind that title I wrote this mainly between 1974 and 1976, did some finishing touches on it in 77 when it was published, and then it was reviewed for the first time in 78 in a magazine called L equals A equals N equals G equals U equals A equals G equals E. My first intention as to conduct new information as...
Prefer any uh, enlightened uh, subset? Okay, well that makes sense. <laughs> so, do you, does anyone have any other comment to make before I turn the tape recorder off? Well, actually, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> The rest, I am uh, supposing to go way under my behavior, predicts that um, women uh, may deliver it. I don't agree with you, but I think you should go. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody has the freedom to um, sustain or um, just um, work with his own system, his or their own system, change the system, and the only thing we want to do is just somehow interact. Yeah. Or, or not, or just walk around and talk. Well, I'm thinking that we're going to be oh, having Communication okay. strategies, personal communication strategies, but whether, in other words, when when we're saying something or when I'm saying something, at least, I'm going to be directing it in a particular way. It won't just be me talking nonsense for the sake of interjecting Words. anything into the situation. It'll, I'll have a specific purpose Agenda. when I'm saying something. And I'll have a specific system that I'll be applying to the saying of it. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. I think it has to be more than mm -hmm. pathetic, just pathetic language. So the, the quarrel um, was why um, any system should arguably evade uh, why one is, uh, is uh, distan distancing itself from it. Which is something we never resolve. <laughs> and we don't seem to be resolving now either. Okay, <laughs> so let's go. Okay.
too, for a uh, fascinating objects for that substitution are course of uh, bombastic problematic for he every which way. Draws. Well, uh, it's actually just the last one. <laughs> the first camel. The Schreiber plots. Hold the phone. submarine docks there. And the raft boat anchors. <laughs> the submarine docks there.
us. <laughs> no, um. Let Psyche Psyche underwin the self contained lawn of the construction that strives to our habit. Like the blood <coughs> yeah. T-shirt 8B suppository. She had never known that humans are so beautiful. She thought about all the different things she'd eaten that day. To debunk notions of what we are going to, to eyeball in certain streams that run below the ordinary um, the ordinary misrepresentation and smoother and like uh, in a female way of endings Ross uh, an answered of this going on. certain complexes that drag their caves uh, through the, the groundwork. And, um, with what's, Higher. what's uh, related to the overall setting. We did not judge us. She so went on a diet. You know, <laughs> there we have the ore condition <laughs> and 
this here is a Unix operating system which extends over the entire gap. And um, uh, are there this, separate computers? And uh, no, they. This is here a uh, uh, Ministry of uh, Federal Research plant. She, she saw him write a, a collision. Uh, and below that BME, we got. Um, Perspiration of oh, um, a classical Balinesian setting. Now, Novgorod style. Um, Lex. The song that was stuck in my head was uh, similar to a labyrinth instead of this Unix system. He deposited somehow or another. <laughs> she statement is longing for communion. This is um, the beginning of butt soup. <laughs> the diet is continued. could be what was established as the raw raw matter to sodomize what tissues comprehend. The umbrellas of Shambor. T-shirt 10. Yellow. <laughs> um. Brown. Red. Navy blue. Chartreuse. Maze. Move. Uh, Super Scala MIPS architecture. Green. Which um, marks uh, the end of the oscillating. node and we have got the Balinesian Balin Balinesian whereabouts as opposed to the nodes of finished teachings. Clear.
Monty Canson. was actually built by the district of Neukölln, the south district where, where we just are. Mm -hmm. It was a big project and it was also, well, the, the official opening of the Comenius Garden was with the uh, supreme representatives of uh, Czechoslovakia. So this Comenius is from Czechoslovakia originally. And uh, they also donated the Comenius sculpture in the middle of the garden. And uh, what I actually tried is, um, with my various methods, I used to explain the emblematic, emblematic uh, structure or setup of the the Comenius Garden, which is divided into two parts. The one is called the Primary School, and the, the second one is called the Supreme School, which is all structured according to the pedagogical writings of Comenius. So the Supreme School one is that where the triangle and the circle yeah, is, right? Yeah. And the other part, you were using the word, what was it, Balinesian all the time? Yeah. Was, were you using Balinesian to refer to primary school or whatever? Or? No, to labyrinth, actually. To labyrinth? Uh, yeah, that was just where a method where I, one of my methods was to just take the first three letters of a word and, and uh, make a palindrome and build a new word out, out of this, um, this three-letter palindrome so that labyrinth would translate into Balinesian. Yeah. Okay, well, that's an interesting <laughs> approach that I would have never figured out. What about you? When you broke into song, for example, were you, were you following any particular? Yeah, I was. Um, I was trying to. Um, I, I was. I don't know. I was trying to. To look at first, like check out what you were all doing, and you were like so isolated from each other, and like trying to follow your path. And I didn't understand why we. You were still trying to communicate somehow. That is to say, turning to each other and trying to explain something. And, and I thought that was like kind of crazy because you were contradicting yourselves all the time. And so I thought, well, I just go on and look what I think would, like what language could be about. So um, when I entered the garden, I said like, OK, what is a garden about? And I just want to contemplate and like come back to nature. And as, as of course, this is all like goes back, comes back to Rousseau, leads, then of course, yeah, I started singing. This is a close-up of an altered version of my yearbook page from 1969. The name there is Michael Frederick Tolson. The entire text will be revealed by looking at subsequent slides. The text of my self-description is nascent orthopteran sebaeist luxated, oleographic turgid labiac excogitate, acentric hydrophytic crispy intarsia magnetize. The first letter of each word going backwards spells out Michael Tolson, third letter from the end spells out is straight. These are pages from my book, Telepathy Receptivity Training, which I published on my press called Destruction of the Environment for Almost Insignificant Personal Gain Press, which was named as such as an acknowledgement of the fact that I was 
obviously having trees cut down to make the paper for these books and wasn't really gaining anything that uh, may have been valuable enough to be worth replacing the trees with. My explanation for this telepathy receptivity training book is that starting in roughly 1975, era of Algeri, I started writing down phrases that would be in my mind while half asleep, phrases that I wouldn't consciously form, so-called automatic writing. Sometimes the words are accompanied by images or envisioned in specific layouts. Usually, I was too lazy to write the phrases down. As such, despite my having worked on the project for about 16 years as of the time I put this book out, the resultant text is quite short. The very first one there, and these are presented in chronological order, says blood after washing. And the next one, which has an image with it, is an image of Mexican jumping beans, which are of course just beans with insects inside, on my hand, balanced on my hand, with the uh, a cloudy sky in the background, and underneath there's the caption, a boy, eight years old, escaped flying a plane. And there's, I put German cars into the pencil, on the next page, we see, for example, blinky modeling. And there at the top, we have stadium protein adapters, Judy's Glimpy. I can't see washing my hands in cake. The ox cart is ill. On this page, just picking out a few, you've got Ranch Miller Bratches and Ranch Connected Knife. Now, down at the bottom, there's a sort of simulated newspaper layout with a headline that says, Marriage Causes Plane Crash. And you have Dogs Never Pay Debts, Dream Balloon, Myriad of Jumpy, Something Backwards, You Have to Have One of These Things and Two of Everything, Dispositionary Club, Lobster the, Franzonia, Peace Pipe Gentilian Dragon, Poor Talk is the Fireplace of the Floor, <clears throat> another one that comes with a graphic, there's a person there at the lectern saying, you have a right to resent the perfect cosmic gallery periphery. And there's always, of course, eating through a telescope. And the last page has doom for their lids. Form that it is going isn't allegory. Dilating with the physical, co-remoting with the thunderous. I call myself a mad scientist, decomposer, sound thinker. And here's an example of sound thinking. You see the number two and the letter B and the word or referring to a wooden paddle, well not necessarily wooden, but a paddle that's used to propel a boat and not, meaning, um, well, I forget the correct mathematician's definition of a not, but you know what it is. And then the number and the letter again. But if you are not a deaf person, you would mentally be reading that phonetically which would produce to be or not to be the quote from Hamlet, the play by Shakespeare, who, by the way, was uh, a beneficiary of the Virginia Company, which was a kidnapping and enslaving organization in the early history of the pre-United States. So boo on William Shakespeare. This is not meant to endorse William Shakespeare in any way. The thing that I like about this language use is that it's what I call sound thinking, meaning that you would not understand it as the quote from Shakespeare unless you were responding to all of those language units as homonyms, as uh, phonetic equivalents to, for example, the word T-O for the number two, etc. So you're mentally thinking sounds in order to translate this into the quote. So you are having sound thinking, but it's silent sound thinking. There's not actually any sound happening physically while you're doing this. Moving on here, we have puzzle writing. 
I particularly like this. I took a blank jigsaw puzzle and I made a, a copy of it, a photocopy of it, and then I pasted the photocopy onto the blank puzzle slightly out of sync with the original puzzle and then cut out the pieces. And then I made puzzle pieces that are of a modular shape so that any puzzle piece could fit together with any other puzzle piece and wrote words on them that I thought were interesting sounding words and made text that I called puzzle reading that I put on top of this puzzle as a background. So we've got needlefish, which is joined by froth, which is joined by scummy, and skewness upside down, and quest, and pedicab. And Rocket takes off from the text, not linked to any of the other ones. And that's it. Once upon a time, there was a fruit for us society. At one point, it consisted of the parketa one and the ballooning one, and they met in Hungary, and it was the... Synthesis vocabulary sequence is number one. This is, in some ways, the most difficult project I've tried with a sampler yet despite, or because of, its crudeness. Inspired by the never satisfactorily realized John Burnt Q activated modular unit entitled, Phoneme Chemistry Variants in which the players are called upon to pronounce phonemes as the sounds used in the performance of other Q-activated modular units, with the possibility of other units of meaning, such as words, can form among the phonemes. I record the examples of them in pronouncing international phonetic alphabet. And, later, all 44. Given the technical limitations of my sampler, only 16 of these phonemes could be accessed at once 8 per range half. Nine combinations of these halves can be permutated. The first nine sequences of this project are attempts at playing some of the available vocabularies within these permutations. Since I'm not a very proficient keyboardist and since the phonemic computatory method used is awkward, the resultant words are often hard to understand as such. Furthermore, the process of recording is such that I would play one to five words in a row, save the sequence, and then overdub to add more words. This meant that if I'd recorded three words, I'd have to listen to those three words before recording the next one, etc. This makes for a very slow process as the sequence gets longer. If I've recorded one minute and forty seconds worth of vocabulary, I have to listen to that one minute and forty seconds before I add the next second, etc. I set a 2 minute and 20 second limit for each vocabulary speculating that that might be near the 333 note sequencer limit anyway. The following vocabulary list is of words that can be created with the lower 3 and upper 2 samples from the first of my phoneme discs. So, <laughs> 
Once upon a time, there was a fructiferous society. At one point, it consisted of the forked one and the ballooning one, and they met in Hungary, and it was good. Sur montoi kai step indianoi, chasadas kun ruch family, kai sevi postulas parolon. Have you ever seen that old Monty Python skit where, uh, like, the guy comes out of surgery and the doctor is like, like, made the surgical scar and then, like, a swastika? And he's like, that's not a surgical scar, it's a swastika. You've scarred me before. He's like, well, that's not a swastika. Look, you put a little hat right here and then a cane in his hand. He's a little dancing man, see? So vajai ni gruloi sendi, yam solvis la lingvan problemon, per tam tam elijas la cri. Esperanto estas da lingvo por ni, por ni. Esperanto estas la lingvo por mi. Che norda poluso eskimoi, loggiadas en neggio glazi. Se illi bezonas parolon, audigas la tutsa macri. Esperanto 
estas la lingua por ni por ni esperando estas la lingua por mi sur tutta la vasta ter globo en urboi kai territori trovidia samite anaro kai sonas de bupoi la cri Esperanto estas la lingua por ni por ni Esperanto estas la lingua por mi Indiano e nigrulo e eskimo e urbano e kai bubo e kai mi Yam usas la samen hof lingon do vivu prosperu la cri Esperanto estas la lingua por ni por ni Esperanto estas la lingua por mi Thank you. 